Well, Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley is passing the torch to Mayor elect Jeffrey Mims Jr. Mims will be sworn in this coming Monday. And first at four, two news reporter Madeline Ashley sat down for a one on one interview with Mayor Whaley to talk about her accomplishments and hopes for the future of Dayton. As eight years of leadership comes to an end, Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley entering the new year excited for the future. Um, I feel really great about the place the city's in. Um, I'm very excited for Mayor-elect Mims to continue on this work. Um, and I feel really good about what I got done. Putting much of her pride in Dayton's Preschool Promise, a nonprofit organization focusing on high quality preschool for children as young as three. So that the city had enough faith in our leadership to invest in, in, their, in the future of Dayton in that way uh, is something that most cities don't do. Yeah. And to get to lead through that and to be proactive around uh, the investment in our future is something I'm just most proud of. Another accomplishment, the over $1 billion invested in downtown Dayton. Uh, and how our neighborhoods have changed. They're getting better. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, but, you know, my husband and I were walking um, the neighborhoods th on Thanksgiving Day, and it's definitely true that uh, we've left uh, the city in better shape than we found her. Not always riding on highs. Mayor Whaley crediting the tough lessons she learned during the 2019 Oregon District shooting and Memorial Day tornadoes for how she's handled the pandemic with a little advice from Mayor-elect Mims. And, you know, my advice is to follow public health guidance. That's what we've done. Through this entire pandemic, we have made decisions with science and with doctors. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be the advice I give him. I'm pretty sure that's what he'll do. Um, that's our North Star here in Dayton. I think it served us well. Feeling confident, she's left the city of Dayton in good hands. But I know we have the same values and uh, we share the same love for this community. So I think it'll be a great next step. Mayor-elect Mims will be sworn in on January 3rd. In Dayton, Madeline Ashley, 2 News, working for you.